must we all japa to feel like we're on the right track in life hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if it's your first time watching me i pray you get stuck and you will subscribe to the channel <laughs> just click on the subscribe button and if it's not hi gen stars <laughs> all right guys so it's been a while we had this sit down and talk about what's on my mind video yeah and um the topic for today or oh, one thing that's been on my mind for a while now is this jackpot thing like for those that don't know what jackpot means it means to relocate like to leave nigeria and just travel abroad so um i don't know if it's just me or if we've all been having this conversation either you are on the i just jackpot side or you are on the i'm still in nigeria side so for me for people like us now still on the we are in the nigeria side guys is it just me that is having this feeling or everybody's talking about it like that's the only thing that's going on right now you're having a conversation with your friend and the next minute it is oh no i won't travel low be safe i said it like this now i won't come up from nigeria i want to go I want, like everybody just wants to go everybody wants to go it's a good thing don't get me wrong don't get me wrong it's a good thing i'm not saying you should not go or if you have money don't go no but my question is must we all jackpot to feel like we're on the right track in life because for those that are on the jackpot side on those for those that have gone already the next conversation they are having with all their friends is oh come over i think you should leave nigeria nigeria is not a good place nigeria not nonsense nigeria not this like the moment they travel they suddenly become motivational speakers and start and campaign ambassadors for what you must jump up guys sincerely in my opinion and i don't mean to i'm not shading anybody and i'm not saying anything but you guys please Let's be coming down. Like, it's not everybody that will relocate. <laughs> and that's the honest truth. It's not everybody that will relocate one. It's not everybody that would remain wherever they went to for their masters, like after their masters. Some people will still come back. It's not everybody that would be in the, that would leave Nigeria for their masters. Some would do their masters here, but they will still relocate. So, for whatever category you are destined to be in, you will be fine. And I'm saying this to those that are already feeling like, ah, I'm, I want to leave. Like you've made it, you've made it. A, in fact, if you don't go, nobody can tell you anything. Like if you don't leave this country, it feels like there's no road again. Like nothing is going, nothing good is going to happen to you being in Nigeria. And I sincerely think that's a very wrong mindset. You should have the mindset of wherever I find myself, I will do whatever it takes to succeed. Irrespective of where I am. Urban, rural, urban, urban, semi-urban, rural, rural. Like, whatever area you find yourself, you have to be you. You have to want to succeed. You have to want to achieve things. So it's not a factor of whether you travel abroad or not because i know i've heard of cases of people that really traveled abroad and nothing and then there are some people that are in nigeria that are doing better than some people that are abroad so it's just a thing of you wanting to really succeed and if you don't have the money like i know it's a cover like me most people don't like to tell themselves the truth i tell myself the truth a lot like every time so somebody was telling me and saying, oh, um, Jenny, don't you want to travel? One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. And I said, presently, I cannot afford it. It's not even a, it's not magic. I, I cannot afford it. Yes, there's nothing God cannot do. One thing, one thing. Yes, God will do it if he wants to do it. I know I have a relationship with God to that level. So I know if he wants to do it, whether I like it or not, he will do it. So I don't even bother my head about certain things. But personally, can I afford it? No, I can't. And I told the person, I said, if I add one more project, one more project I need to save for to my present income, I'm going to lose my mind. Because 
in the real sense how much am i even earning i'm already saving for this saving for that you want to do this you want to go here you want to do this and i'm already saving for all of that and then i have to come and save again because i want to jackpot ah please no <laughs> have mercy upon me i cannot die it's just me myself and i and god please eh i can't afford it so if you know you belong to the category of you know you cannot afford it my brother and my sister but i can look forward to better your life and get more money rather than sitting down and thinking you cannot make it because you're not going to travel or you're not traveling now who says you cannot go on multiple vacations later who says like why are you beating yourself up over it is it necessary no it's not secondly have you even prayed about it like i know we all like to form work and some of us don't like to have that god factor or we don't like to talk about god or something guys i don't do anything and not want to talk about god have you prayed about it what is god saying about it and you might not like to hear it but it's the truth what is god saying about your relocation plans is it the right time is he telling you to wait is he telling you to go now where is he telling you to even go to are you trying to go to the uk because oh three of your friends are there and they're going to help you or one thing one thing are you trying to go to the us because you feel oh that's where i will make it or are you trying to go to canada because that's like the only not like three countries everybody's traveling to right now uk us canada so i try to go to these places because people say it is good or because god told you to pick out of this three or god says wait and go next year or wait and go next two years or wait i have something for you in the next five years why like relocating is a big decision it's a it's not something because most of us now we're not even saying we're going for masters and then just do one year six months or two years and come back no the moment we travel we've already planned it i don't want to ever come back to nigeria one thing one thing one thing is god even telling you go for your masters and come back do you even know like we just have the plan okay i get two years visa i go with you some people even plan it very well go as a dependent wanting wanting after two years marry somebody stay there <sighs> breathe calm down calm down what is god saying so um for me if you're gonna take that decision you have to really really pray about it you have to be intentional you have to know what you want to do if you don't have help if you know you are kind of loading your head by yourself please be sure that you're ready so you don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure so people even get depressed because the school they wanted did not give them and then ha huh, do not really really hmm. not be smart this jackpot situation is not a smart thing no i know it's i know it's a good thing and nigeria can be really really messy sometimes but from me to you friend to friend don't kill yourself if you will go you will go if you will not go you will not go if you will go there i'll make it you go there i'll make it if you will not go there i'll make it you look like ah, just breathe and just enjoy and get better like for now pending when you can make that decision or pending when things go the way you want it don't just sit back get sad and be thinking about things that are not even existing be happy now work on yourself now and prepare for a better tomorrow in nigeria or outside nigeria so guys um that's what i decided to talk about today and um, i hope you enjoyed the video on my next video i think i want to talk about the people that would just travel and not tell their friends i want to know what your take is like before then so in the comment section just kindly drop your comments like have you ever been in a situation where your friend or somebody you felt was really close to you traveled and didn't tell you or relocated and didn't tell you that you were traveling and then it just maybe after like one month of them being there or when they get there and I'll text you and say, oh, I'm here already. Oh, I'm, I'm in the UK or I'm in the US. <laughs> or have you done it to your friends? So, and then are you planning to do it to your friends? So those categories, I need you to comment, drop your comments in the comment section. And then uh, what else? 
yes and then if you do it if you what's your reaction if somebody does that to you what would you do if you do it to your friends what reaction are you expecting from them so basically all these questions i know you understand where i'm coming from because that's what is really going on right now people just travel and they don't tell their friends so just drop your comments in the comment section and um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel give the video a thumbs up i love you all see you all on my next video